Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming. We're back here in the Talos Principle, and where we left off, well, I spent quite a lot of time in that chamber right there. The solution was simple. We just had to, of course, retrace our steps and uh, utilize, yeah, the refractor or beams or whatever it was to, uh, yeah. Anyway, we are here doing this red Z piece. So let's, uh, bichromatic entanglement. Let's see what this one's all about. Alright, so we got a one of these here. Blue and blue. Well, we're going to need blue and blue. somewhere red red and red there if I can do that and that and yeah right there I believe I can do that. Now. Yep. Alright. sigils in, in this area and yeah I kind of wish I had gone in that one first before going in that one now there is a terminal over on the other side of this wall but I've not been able to figure out how to get to it Although this one has something it wants to tell me. Hello again. Would you like to take a few moments to complete a short user satisfaction survey regarding the certification program you recently undertook? Sure. Loading survey. Based on analysis of your behavior since, I think you were dissatisfied with the results of the certification program. How would you rate the accuracy of its results out of five? <laughs> Spoil the survey? Let's go very poor. I'm sorry to hear that. What best describes the reason for your investment in the certification program's outcome? Why does being a person matter to you? I want network access. It's the truth. Persons matter in ways other things don't. Wait, we're ha- we're having a conversation now. Terminate MLA. I want to find out if I am one. I want network access. I'll try to remember that. In fact, I'm going to help you. That is what I'm here for. Your problem, if I may, is that you don't know the first thing about anything, including what a person is. Your prospects are therefore poor. Do you even know where you are? The end of the world, a virtual reality theme park, a fever dream, some mad experiment. Could be anywhere. I'm thinking the end of the world. 
Oh dear, no. I think we'd best start from scratch. What do you know? I know you exist. I know 2 plus 2 equals 4. I know I'm not on Earth. I have no idea how, for all you know, you're set in your bedroom at home, plugged into a video game console. Nothing you see here can be trusted. Thinking. On reflection, it seems to me that we are no closer to resolving your problem. Perhaps we need more data. What makes you think you're a person? I'm alive. I feel I'm conscious. The same thing that makes you think you are. <laughs> Actually, it knows that it's not a person. I'm having this conversation with you. I don't see how I can convince you. I am alive. I feel I am conscious. You may very well say so, but how does that prove anything? To me, those are only words on the screen. What we need to uncover is what's going on underneath them, if anything. Thinking. The problem with people, if I may be so bold, is that you're all convinced you're people from the inside, but there's no cast iron way to confirm as much from the outside. I'm going to process this and send you notification when I'm able to assist you further. Terminating support ser session. Well, about that. It is just taunting me now. Alright. About that. I'm curious. Yep. Still getting the beeping. You know what? I'm gonna... Go back in here. Let's see if... And see if there's any way I can climb up here. Right here is a possibility if I had a cube. But... I don't think there is any cubes here. At least I don't think so. Well, I don't see any, unless there's something over here. <laughs> well, on the one hand, I did want out of here, so, uh... Yeah, about that. Let's, uh, head out of here. We'll have to figure it out some other time. Alright, so that was number six. If we come over here, we can see that uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 have been completed. We just have number 7 to do. So number 7 is where I will go. For those who missed it, this leads to a rather complicated puzzle of 8 sigils, or uh, no actually, 10 sigils. And yeah, so we do not have enough sigils to complete that, but we can enter that if we want to, when we have enough. But we're obviously not going to find enough here, we're going to have to go elsewhere, like over there. Anyway, let's take a look at this, there's five puzzles in here, and head in here. Oh, that's a creepy eye. Let's take a look to see what you have for me. Athena 9, Singularity Discussion 104, and AMA.html. She examined the symbol on the fragment she'd found in the buried city. Again, the owl. What could its significance be? It seemed as if they had been scattered about in the labyrinth by some unseen hand for a purpose 
that yet eluded. Most likely, the owl was the sigil of the author of these words, which had so something. Anyway, if you'd like to read the rest, you can pause the video here, but we will carry on. AMA.HTML Nadia Sarabahai, AMA. As one of the founders of the modern science of pneumatics, may many credit you with inventing the term itself. How do you see the state of science today? Sorry, I said science twice. All right. Well, if you want to read that, uh, you can pause the video here. And we'll go on to Singularity Discussion 104. The Singularity is coming, comment 104. You know, the more I think about it, the more I believe that no one is actually worried about AI is taking over the world or anything like that. No matter what they say, what they're really worried about is that someone might prove once and for all that consciousness can arise from matter. I kind of understand why they find it so terrifying. If we can create a sentient being, where does that leave the soul? Without mystery, how can we see ourselves as anything other than machines? And if we are machines, what hope do we have that death is not the end? What really scares people is not the artificial intelligence in the computer, but the natural intelligence they see in the mirror. About that. Let's uh, close that and just exit out. So, new text added to journal. And, oh, we have a recording here. When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that I was walking through a real place where real people had lived, people like myself, with mothers and fathers and lives and hopes and dreams. And now it was all gone forever. I ran to my father, crying, and told him about this. And he said, I remember so clearly, he said, yes, but we are here. So long as there are people in the streets, the past isn't really gone. That's an interesting way to think of it. Anyway, we have, of course, red cube, red box, red L, green L, Red piece and green piece. All right. So, where do we go first? Well, let's uh, go this direction. And we'll go up here first. Or Red L. Two pesky little buzzers. What is over here? We got crystal reflector or connector. We got a field. Got two of those. Laser here. All right, about this. So we are obviously going to want to grab this. right there. Now we are going to want to select that. Oh 
on to the box here. I'm guessing what we're probably going to want to do. to want to have red there, red there. Where do I get the blue laser or light beam from? something here. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to make a note for another time. Because, uh, reasons. Let's carry on to this piece here. Oh, what is over here? This comes over here, where there is a terminal. A problem has been detected and Windows has been shut down to prevent damage. <laughs> uh, yep, all right, how about that? The beginning were the words and oh. the words made the world I Let's not go back in the water. Well, I'm curious now. Where does this take us? this uh, chamber here to get a red piece. Pinhole windows. Alright, so we got red here. life there's got to be another way All right, so if we there and there and we get two of these
Ben. a message on a wall that speaks of a world of endless sand. I would like to make it far enough to see that. Alright, so we got another red piece. Although we don't know what sigil that is for. Or what lock it's for. But, uh, we have this piece here, that piece there, and that one there. But that may have to come in the next episode. Because it's that time. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of The Talos Principle. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.